Okay, for 13b, we have another one where we want to solve a system of nonlinear equations. Now, what's different about this one is this time we don't have a y that's isolated anywhere in here. So because we don't have a y isolated, it's probably going to be better to solve this one by elimination. Uh, yes, you could actually solve this for y squared and put that into here, but then you're going to get an, an x to the fourth with an x squared and a 9. That might be more difficult to factor. So instead, I'm going to do it by elimination. So elimination means that you're going to multiply one or both equations by something and then add them together and you'll be able to get one of the variables to drop out. And that's what we're going to do here. Now you can choose to eliminate either the x squares or the y squared. doesn't really matter which one. Uh, so if you want to eliminate the x squares, you can multiply uh, top and bottom by negative 4. And if you want to eliminate the y squares, you can multiply everything by 2. You just want to multiply by something so that when you add them together, it's going to cancel out. Now I'm going to go and choose to eliminate the y squares only because I see a difference in sign here already. That means I don't have to multiply through by a negative. I can just multiply the bottom row by 2. So that's how I'm going to go approach this one. So I have x squared plus 2y squared equals 9. Now the bottom equation, what I'll do is I'm going to multiply that whole equation by 2. By doing that, we're going to get negative 2y squared here added to positive 2y. That will cancel it out and you'll get uh, just x squared left over. So when I do that, I get x squared plus 2y squared equals 9 and I get 8x squared uh, minus 2y squared equals uh, 0. 2 times 0 is 0. And now I'm going to add the equations together. When I add them together, I get 9x squared. This is going to cancel out and give me a 0. And I get 9x squared equals 9. At this point, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 9. And I get x squared is equal to 1. And then when I square root both sides, I get plus or minus 1 for my x value. Now, I also want to find the corresponding y value. So we're going to do uh, two different steps. We're first going to put in x is equal to 1 into this equation, and then I'm going to put x is negative 1 into that equation. Now you can use either one of these. I'm going to use the second equation uh, since it looks a little bit uh, easier, but I could also do the top one doesn't really matter. So I'll, use, I'll work with the bottom one. When x is equal to 1, I'm going to put that into here. Uh, so this will give us 4 minus y squared equals 0. I can move the y squared over. I get 4 is equal to y squared. And by solving that, I get y is equal to plus or minus 2. Let's now solve the second equation. We'll put in x is negative 1 back into here. And when you do that, you're actually going to get the same result because you still end up with the same equation. When you have negative 1 squared, you still get 4 minus y squared equals 0. And again, you're going to get plus or minus 2 for that one. So now we just have to write our answer. We got these four blanks here, so this time there's four different answers. When, I, when x is 1, I got 2 and negative 2. So here's 1, comma 2, 1, negative 2. Down here, when x is negative 1, I get 2 and negative 2. So I get negative 1, 2, and negative 1, negative 2. So that gives me all four of my solutions.